Welcome back, everyone. Weather for Weather Geeks Time, Monday evening edition of the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. Hope you had a good weekend. Our uh, snow forecast for uh, Saturday night was a little overdone in most of the area. Um, the axis of snow did shift a little bit farther north and west than it looked like it would on Friday. So, you know, we had some candy coatings. And then actually with the lake effect last evening, Sunday evening, we had lake effect linger that dropped some localized small accumulations, even up to an inch or so in some spots where bands persisted. So, you know, lake effect is a fickle beast, and uh, that proved to be the case on Sunday uh, with a little, little surprise at the end of the day for some people. All right, March is in the books. It was a cooler than average March, although not as cool as March of last year. Uh, March, you know, I posted about this on, on Twitter this morning. March has been one of our wilder months in recent years, we had the warmest March on record in 2012. We had the second warmest March on record in 2016. And sandwiched in between there in 2014, we had a very cold month of March, one of the coldest on record. And we've had a couple of pretty chilly Marches now, in fact, three in a row, 2017, 28, 2019. So it's been, a, it's been hard to have a typical March around here in, in recent years. Interestingly, every Monday, every Tuesday, it was cooler than average. We only had a high of 17 back on the 5th. And then a week and a half later, it was 75, easily the warmest day of March of uh, 2019. March is out of here, and it was not a particularly snowy month, and of course it has not been a particularly snowy winter. These are the numbers through April 1st. Last year through today's date, we had 74 inches of snow. This year, 45.3, and I suspect this is gonna be pretty darn close to our final number. I don't see any accumulating snow occurring in the next week to 10 days, and that takes us into the middle of April. And by that point, you know, the chances of any accumulating snow are Typically, typically get to fairly, fairly low. Maybe some flurries in a fairly chilly pattern maybe evolving as we head towards mid-month, but accumulating snow in mid-April, it's not unheard of, but uh, the odds certainly are against us. All right, on this first day of April, it was cold outside, despite pretty much a full afternoon of sunshine. 13 degrees, cooler than average today. We should be at 53 on April 1st, but we were, of course, way below that today. Here's a look at the April forecast. Now, a couple of caveats here. This looks like a very warm map, right? April should come out in the wash, I think, as a little warmer than average. But there's been some model trends over the last 24 hours uh, that are definitely cooler in the medium range. Now, how long does that persist? And is that realistic or not? I, I You know, the model trends are fairly new. We would like to see another couple of days of consistent uh, cooler trends on some of the medium range modeling. But uh, uh, certainly there's been a little bit of a trend over the last day or so. And if that trend were to continue, uh, the risk would be that April would end up maybe closer to average than we thought. You know, it wasn't that long ago that we thought April would be almost a blowtorch kind of a month. Don't think that's the case anymore. We're going to stick with our original forecast here for a time of warmer than average, but I don't think it's a lot warmer than average. And uh, we could be in for some, you know, legit chilly weather for a time next week into the following weekend. Early next week does look pretty good, but late next week does look quite a bit cooler. Precipitation-wise, in the month of... Uh, that's March. I grabbed the wrong map. Let me, uh, let me grab the right map here. I apologize for that. Uh, what I wanted to show you, not March's forecast, but the April forecast. Precipitation. Bear with me. I will grab it right here. Uh, here it is. Here's, uh, the April temperatures. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And now my system's going to slow down on me. Ah, tonight's video is going fantastic. This is not an April Fool's video, believe it or not. All right, there's the temperatures. Uh, that's still the wrong map. Why is it showing the wrong... Anyway, what I intended to show you before this video went off the rails was uh, April should end up being a pretty average month precipitation-wise, even though I showed you the wrong map there. All right, back here on April 1st. A couple of interesting things on the visible satellite today. A field of cumulus clouds did bubble up late this morning. They dissipated late in the afternoon, shaping up to be a crystal clear evening. Should be a great sunset this evening. I'll probably post a uh, time lapse before the evening is through. Also, the snow, which, again, the axis shifted a little farther. Snow on the ground in parts of Cuyahoga, northern uh, parts of uh, Summit, parts of Geauga and Ashtabula, and then that strong April 1st sun really took care of it today. The sun is as strong today as it is on September 11th, so the snow did not stand a chance despite the cold temperatures. There's not much warmth to be found across a lot of the eastern U.S. this evening. This is a chilly April 1st 
Weather map. All right, tomorrow is going to end up being a little bit cloudier than today, but I don't think it's low clouds. It's high clouds. It's cirrus clouds coming off the top of a storm that will kind of push up the eastern seaboard. Uh, just some high cirrus clouds, but I'll tell you, it'll be a more seasonable afternoon tomorrow. After a cold start, we'll get into the lower 50s. And then a bright and sunny Wednesday on the way before clouds roll in late Wednesday night. And this warm front on Thursday will likely not punch in far enough north that we'll be on the warm side. It'll be a chillier day on Thursday, and I wouldn't even be surprised if a few wet snowflakes mixed with a cold, light rain throughout the day. Now that cool down at the end of the week is fairly brief, as they typically are in April. Only 43 on Thursday, that might even be a little optimistic. Uh, wouldn't be totally shocked if we struggled to get above 40 on Thursday. Maybe 50 or so on Friday, but oh wow, look at the weekend. Uh, that uh, mid-70s high we had back in uh, mid-March, that's the only time we've been above 64 degrees since early October of last year. So back-to-back uh, -back 70 degree readings Sunday and Monday will feel awfully nice. I think it'll be a nice weekend. Maybe not bright and sunny, but uh, at least partly sunny Saturday and Sunday. All right, uh, this is the 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook. I'm expecting uh, warmer weather as we head towards late weekend, early next week. Precipitation-wise, it's kind of an unsettled pattern for a lot of the U.S. as we go towards uh, next week, and uh, that may persist into the tail end of next week as well. It may be kind of an unsettled period for a time, along with a downturn in our temperatures as we head uh, towards mid-April. Apologize for the technical difficulties earlier. Thanks for sticking with me, and thanks as always for watching Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you back here on Tuesday.